Welcome to the Life Fair. My name is James Angerson. Thank you very much for choosing to join me this week's episode. Now, this week's episode, we've got some fantastic pixie cuts. It's from a great channel called Beauty Place. Now, if you haven't seen them, then please go and check out their channel. They're uh, compilation videos uh, with no voiceover. So if you don't like me dribbling on, then go and watch their videos and give your own opinions in the comment section over on their channel. Uh, but I thank them for their videos they make. They are really good uh, compilation videos, and I really like watching them. So good work, guys. Okay, the best pixie cuts. Uh, it says of 2020, but pixie cuts are timeless. Let's be realistic. So this is the best haircuts of 2023 and beyond and 2024 and whenever, whatever year you're watching this in. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. If you do, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. And uh, new videos coming out every single week. Right, let's jump straight into this one. Oh, P.S. Sorry if you can hear a dog barking in the background. Uh, my neighbour's dogs are become extremely loud for some reason. Anyway, whatever. I hope you can't hear them. Previously had some blonde in her hair, very grown out, very soft looking, quite like the look of it to be honest, in its current form. Using some graduation here, diagonal finger angle, cutting into the nape area onto the opposite side. Um, through the sides here, taking horizontal sections, that builds up a lot of weight. Horizontal graduation builds up triangular weight in the side of their head. L beautiful little sort of dovetail detail there, very soon s carving around the eyebrow and um, uh, temple area there to give that some shape and obviously removing some of that color from previous, but point cutting into the top to give lots of texture and movement. So everything that I've seen so far looks fantastic. Going in with the full scalp bits, I think this is obviously like a, uh, she's had a couple of haircuts and she probably had that kind of scalp bleach look before. Channel cutting there to break up the texture on the fringe and uh, deep, deep point cut into the fringe there. We can't really see what's going on a little bit, but to create that very broken texture uh, in that front section, she's happy. And the end result is absolutely cracking. I just love, love, love this end result. Uh, really suits her face shape. She's got beautiful oval face shape, slim in the cheeks here. Face builds out slightly into that graduated shape. Just brings out her cheekbones, killer, killer haircut on her. And with the blonde hair color and the red lips, amazing great hair on this woman i love the color so please i haven't seen this one please let's hope they don't color it uh, obviously naturally a little darker in the nape they're always the way guys doesn't matter how early you went gray uh this is the gentleman who's doing it Raphael, somebody i think it is um i don't won't try and say his surname i'll murder it but um Cutting in some graduation there, tapering to that light scissor overcomb, building the weight up into that occipital bone area. Really, really beautiful shape being created here. Great hair, I mean great hair. It's like a dream to work on this hair. Sits well, it's thick. It's bouncy, of course. That's one of the things that you'd have to combat here. It's very bouncy hair. It will, you, to control it, you might have to take quite a lot of weight out of it, etc. Um, once they've done the scissor over combs, disconnection through the sides there, uh, kept it slightly softer, built out that graduation in the sides. So they've got some more texture around those parietal ridge areas, which is really, really nice to see. And then that beautiful sweeping fringe coming across. And, you know, creating this younger hairstyle in her has made her look like a million dollars. It's made her look so much younger than the original. Obviously, she needed a haircut, of course. Graduation again into the nape area, very soft. Uh, lovely, deliberate cutting style from this gentleman. And um, I really like the way that he details stuff as well. We'll see in just a second. He'll detail the outline uh, with a little soft point cutting techniques. Really, really beautiful uh, hair cutter. And, and obviously that's showing in these amazing results. I will tag the uh, gentleman's, I think it's his Instagram, um, in the description down below. So if you want to go and check out his work, uh, then please do so, because obviously he's an extremely talented individual and a beautiful, um, not just technical hair cutter, but making great shapes in his clients as well. So through these side sections now, got a bit more of a layer coming through, graduation into layer through this side section, trying to keep that little bit of 
built up shape, but not too tight. A little soft point cutting around the uh, perimeter lengths there just to create that really nice, soft, loose taper. I think that's better on older clients, most definitely. A little bit of fine channel cutting going on there using the shank of the scissor, that's the heel, to create a little bit of softness through those side sections. She's nodding, she's in agreement. I don't know what he's saying to her. Um, you can't actually hear what he's saying to her, unfortunately, uh, with this original video because it's uh, uh, got music over the top of it. Um, coming through the top here now, square layer, and then re taking the corner off that square layer uh, horizontally, just to create that little bit more bevel in the shape. Really, really hugely um, important sometimes to create that little bit more bend in it to give the hair that head-hugging feel. And that's what layers do, eh? They remove the bulk and the weight from the hair, but we can also use them to follow the head shape around. Blow dry it with a bit of texture, a bit of movement. I love the way that it builds out triangularly, soft fringe coming over. And obviously the blow dry is very, very, um, it's perfect for her age. It's very, very age appropriate, okay? You know, a little bit of bend and that kind of, you can see in the front there by a cheekbone where he did that little bit of channel cutting with the shank of his scissor has brought out those softer pieces around the face there. Beautiful haircut, suits her amazingly. I really like the color as well. Obviously got some highlights in there to kind of emphasize the texture. What another wicked result, great. Using a, a very heavy club cutting technique here to reduce that perimeter length down to shoulder level. Um, and cutting a lot of dry hair. Now I'm never adverse to cutting hair dry, okay? You know, you can do both, cut hair wet and dry. You don't have to cut it wet to start with and then cut it dry. Because at least when you cut it dry, you're gonna get the natural fall, the hair's not gonna spring up strangely or anything. So you can sometimes get cleaner, stronger lines if you're gonna do it dry, and then either wet the hair down to do your layers or whatever you're gonna do. Anyway, another lady's coming in now with some foils and some highlighting technique. Uh, uh, there's, there's a couple of them at it because she's got such a lot of hair. So uh, I think in this one particular video, there's three different people putting these foils in. So I think it's one of those just get the job done scenarios but they obviously all work in fantastic uh, harmony and synchronicity because the end result is absolutely fantastic sometimes um, when you see these kind of situations where lots of people are doing uh, one head you can see who did what where um, but I don't feel like in the end result as you can see that that is the case at all and I love the fact that they've kept it quite heavy they've put that very very modern wave in they haven't over styled it even though it's quite glam and here it is a little bit straighter there's obviously a little bit of texture through those ends maybe some like kind of invisible layering technique you can see just that kind of little bit of movement going on so potentially done something that's a little bit more like channel cutting through the lengths just to soften it up but a beautiful result. She looks very, very young still, very, very modern. And that's one of the things that can go wrong with these lengths of haircuts and they're overstyled. We've seen in previous videos, if you haven't seen that, go back to my last couple of weeks videos. We've seen lots of bobs that have been overstyled and that actually ages the person, unfortunately. Uh, but this has been done excellently. Thank you very much for watching today. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you again for another episode of Life there very, very soon.